Commissioner, let's start with you. What do you see as sort of the critical lessons from this past year um, when it comes to public health in particular? You know, I think it's really important for us to really start at the beginning. Uh, we, we always talk about March 4th because that was our first case. But actually, we were alerted in January of the outbreak in Wuhan. We still thought that this virus was really remote from the United States. Yep. And certainly you look back on it and say, boy, we put the crisis management team in place. We were monitoring this. What did we miss? Yep. Well, what we missed was the velocity mm -hmm. of this uh, virus. We, we did not have PPE. Right. We did not have personal protective equipment. I remember I was so struck that you said that at one press conference that you had, in all your years, you could not have imagined that being an issue. Yeah. Unfathomable. Yep. And we were, we were parsing out PPE like it was the rarest, and it was at that point, commodity um, ever. Uh, and when I look back at that, I, it, it's, it's just so unbelievable mm -hmm. that that in, in the richest country in the world, that's what we were faced with. Dr. Bresnitz, is there anything that you want to say in particular about the virus that, you know, a sort of lesson learned on the, on the virus side? Well, uh, from a, a, a higher perspective, I mean, I think it was a failure of imagination on the part of, um, you know, public health officials, elected officials, and so on. Even if we, I would say this, even if we had a lot of equipment and ventilators, and I think even then, given the transmissibility of this virus, the novelty of this virus, I think we still would have been in trouble at that point in time. We just couldn't imagine that it would turn out to what it would be. What went wrong in New Jersey? If you could change one thing with long-term care, what would it be? And how that, the state's response there? When I look back and I think about long-term care, and I, I like what Eddie said about failure of imagination. I think yeah. we did not imagine that the community spread was so deep that it was coming into all of our facilities, but long-term care because of the vulnerability yep. of the individuals there, uh, that it was already in our long-term care facilities way before a patient got readmitted. The public messaging on this is complicated, right? Um, particularly when you're talking around vaccines. Um, Dr. President, let me, let me ask you, how do you think we've done in New Jersey? Um, I think public health officials and elected officials, you know, get used to basically having to message and to, to be straight with the public, at least I hope they do. And certainly within New Jersey, um, the governor and the commissioner, you know, they were doing daily press conferences back early on. Now it's it's limited now to three days a week, um, but but they've kept at it, and I think being out in public is and the, and they've been honest about um, you know what information is coming and answered the questions as best as they can, admitted when there were mistakes. That's another important yep. attribute to yep. effective uh, communications, and the public will forgive that when you admit to a mistake. It's when you try to cover up a mistake that you know that you get hit hard. What does public health look like in a year or COVID? Well, the first thing that, and the most important thing that came out of uh, all of this is I think we have uh, bolstered up our public health infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I think that not only will we be prepared if this ever happens again, but you know, even the small outbreaks in our cities, in our towns, the public health infrastructure had been so decimated over the years, uh, nationally, uh, and certainly in New Jersey. And we have really bolstered up what happens closer to the people. And I think that's, that's, in my opinion, the best thing that has come out of this. Some hard lessons to learn, but I think that they're really going to benefit uh, the public uh, overall for decades to come, for a generation to come. We'll never forget this.